Hi there, my name is Scott Lowe. I'm a partner and co-founder of Actual Tech Media. I'm joined today by Tim Sheets, Vice President of Corporate Marketing for Falcon Store. Tim, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me, Scott. We're here to talk about software-defined storage, a very nebulous term. <laughs> Can you give us a 30,000 foot overview for what that really means? I, absolutely, you know, there's a lot of definitions and there's no real standard in the industry right now, but for Falcon Store, we're taking a very purist view. We've been software-defined from the beginning, but to Falcon Store, it means to us that the underlying hardware, the storage environment, right, needs to be agnostic to any hardware, network, or protocol. We really need to be able to be heterogeneous, separated from the hardware, so that customers have that flexibility and the freedom. You know, I do a lot of talking around the country, and people have a lot of questions about what does software defined really mean? So they ask questions about what does the hardware need to look like? What does my application then interact with? What does that look like generally in a software defined system? Absolutely, we, you know, really what you need to do is create that abstraction layer that's above the hardware. So it's below the operating system and the application, right? But it's in front of the hardware. It's that true middleware approach, if you will, for the data services so that you're independent. You've got the flexibility and freedom. You can begin to eliminate a cost, drive more flexibility and freedom within your storage infrastructure, right? Because you're abstracted from that hardware. You're no longer dependent. Now, Falcon Store takes an interesting approach with four pillars of services. Can you give us a brief overview of each one of those? Absolutely. In February of this year, we introduced FreeStore. And what we're really doing is we're creating that abstraction layer. We're virtualizing the underlying physical storage so that we can provision, deliver unified data services across your entire infrastructure, and begin to address the four really core use cases that we see customers using today, whether it's data mobility to migrate data, move data, continuity to make sure things are available, protect it, recover it, or certainly optimize it. Sounds good. Why don't we jump into one of the pillars now? Great. Tim, even with the smallest organizations today, business continuity is a big deal. 24-7 IT is a real thing. Tell me what FreeStore brings to the table with regard to business continuity. You know, you're, you're right. You know, as we see advent of, of new technology like Flash, that you know, demand always available. We see, you know, customers who have mission critical applications to their business that can't go down. It has to always be there business continuity is becoming a bigger and bigger deal. Think about it, in the industry, we started out with clusters. We made a copy of the data locally, right, so that if there's a problem with the hardware, there was another copy available. Then we got smart and said, hey, you know, maybe we should move that to another building in case something happens. So now we're moving it in a stretch, you know, whether, you know, uh, location or, or site to site. You know, and now we think about it, you know, there's continuity as we move to the cloud, whether it's a private cloud or even cloud providers providing hosted cloud. How do you provide continuity across the local, you know, and the remote. And so with what we've done with FreeStore, because we can now abstract from the underlying physical hardware, right, that gives us the ability to be able to not only move the data, but make things always available regardless of what's happening on the underlying infrastructure. That does a couple of things. If I'm an IT organization, now, not only do I not have to buy dedicated exact match hardware, I can use disparate hardware in my environment. We do two node and four node clusters now. So now I don't have to go to somebody like an EMC or, or an IBM SVC or EMC VPLEX with very, very expensive hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars, right? I can use either my existing storage investment or I can buy a good enough set of hardware. Now I'm not talking commodity off the shelf JBODs here, right? I'm talking, okay, quality arrays, but I don't have to buy all those additional expensive licenses to get these capabilities. I can now take what I have, layer in free store, and now provide that. Think about it. We talked about, you know, with our, our data migration, our data mobility pillar of moving storage from a site to a site or helping a, a cloud provider get it from the customer's premise to their premise. We use some of the same capabilities there. Now we're, we leave that in place. It's active-active so that if one side goes down, the other side's continuously operating. And we do that in a way with FreeStore where we've got now one platform, right? We're now, the application the OS are seeing FreeStore as that common platform. Now we've got one interface, so whether I'm remote or local, I've got the same interface across the hardware, across the sites, the cloud providers, hosted providers, they now have the same capability at the customer site as they have in their own data center. I'm reducing complexity, I'm beginning to reduce cost. And lastly, I'm now giving the ISP organizations, the cloud providers, the hosted providers, the ability to say, hey, I can offer more data services to my customers. Right. 
you know, one of the things you touched on here, and I think that the audience would probably agree with, is um, the need for simplicity in the data center. IT staffs are not growing at the rate infrastructure is. Oh my gosh, you know, you hit on a fantastic point there. You know, we're seeing with virtual machines, you know, on the server side, things are growing at 15 to 20 X between, you know, over the next five years. Um, we've heard, you know, people talking about storage growing from anywhere from 15 to, to 20 to numbers even beyond that, you know, believe what you will, is, is growing fast. But with IT staff only growing at one to one and a half X, they just can't keep up. That sprawl is overtaking them. We've got to find ways as an industry to help these guys out by having a single platform that you can now manage your entire storage infrastructure with a common set of services, a common interface for a common price, we're really going to help these guys, give them some tools to overcome those challenges. And my last question, I promise, <laughs> All right. is around cloud. You know, people are trying to find ways to consume cloud in a way that makes sense, and they're having trouble doing it, and they want the economics, but how does FreeStore help them for sort of as an on-ramp to the cloud? I mean, we're talking about like a cloud storage gateway type system here. Well, in a sense, yes, right? You know, we, we go back to that first pillar we talked about data mobility. We've got the ability to move the data. We will have those cloud connectors, you know, like S3, you know, and is other, you know, for Google, for Azure, for those clouds as they come forward, we see OpenStack, Ceph, Luster, mm -hmm. right? The idea with FreeStore is how do you give people a path forward? The, the te technology, the connection points, the costs are going to continue to evolve, and with a system like FreeStore, you're helping people get that path forward so they can modernize what they have, get forward to take advantage of things like cloud. Tape is still not dead. Tape is still right. a very, very low-cost medium. So again, we're abstracting it from the physical. Now you can put it and move it wherever you want so that your storage assets make sense based on your business, your requirements, and your budget. Tim, thank you for talking to us about FreeStore and business continuity. Thank you so much to be here, Scott. It's always a pleasure. And I'm Scott Lowe with Actual Tech Media, and thank you for watching.